no, 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 I can't, I can't, they're watching right now. Okay, I'll let them know, okay. <clears throat> okay, great, yep, yep, okay, okay. Ah, uh, yes, hello, it is your boy, Young New Arm, and I'm back with another video. I apologize for taking a personal call, but hey, when business calls, you answer it. <laughs> I just want to take a few minutes to discuss one of the smaller creators on this lovely platform that we call YouTube. And no, it's not me. <laughs> uh, you might have heard of this person, you might not have. His name is PewDiePie. P PewDiePie. Christmas... Christmas Pie. PewDiePie, the most subscribed channel in the history of YouTube. His channel just continues to grow and grow and grow every single day. No Indian movie corporation is going to catch him no matter what they try. But one organization, let's put it that way, that is trying their absolute hardest to stop PewDiePie is uh, online media. Now, I am no PewDiePie fanboy. I find he's really good in small doses. I can't sit and watch one of his videos back to back to back to back. Bruh. I just don't have that mental capacity. Bruh. I just can't do it. But I do appreciate what he is for you. YouTube. He is the most subscribed channel. He is the pillar stone. He is like the the uh, He's someone he's someone up really high on YouTube that everybody says. Yep. That's cool. That's him That's him respect. He's done a lot blah 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 And it just seems that every time he says something bad everybody just comes for him which is good People should be held accountable if they say stupid stuff, all right? Especially racist stuff. If you want to say that stuff on the platform that you have with the audience that you have, if you want to say stupid stuff, you're going to get it. You're going to cop it, and you've got to cop it sweet. And most of the time, if not all the time, he does cop it sweet. Now, a certain publication called The Verge, probably run by a virgin, <laughs> they published an article titled, uh, PewDiePie gives shout out to hateful, anti-Semitic YouTube channel. At the end of one of PewDiePie's videos, he like shouts at a channel that he enjoyed watching and this channel just happened to have several videos of anti-Semitic speech and, and just really just off color, really odd stuff. Uh, and everybody was just like, oh, how dare you, man? You're a Nazi, you're a Nazi. We knew you were a Nazi, and now this confirms you're a Nazi. How dare you not go through this guy's entire catalog of videos and look for all the racist videos and say, I don't like these videos. That's basically the summary of what happened. And everyone was like, uh, okay. And it's not like he actually referenced that video and said, this is the video I'm talking about. I love this video so much. This creator makes me excited to watch YouTube. He didn't talk about that video. It was talking about other videos. So to to really clasp at straws there and say, mm, yeah, oh, he really PewDiePie really loved this anti-Semitic video. We should get him. We should get him. We, we've seen him do stuff like this in the past. He's coming back out. His true colors are being shone through. No, just chill. Okay. The content creator behind that channel has actually publicly come out and said, you know what, uh, I should probably stop saying stuff like that if I want to stay on this platform. Now we go from that controversy to another controversy. Yesterday there was a tweet sent out by a guy named Joe Bernstein. Now this guy is a Buzzfeed writer, he has been in hot water in the past for making just the dumbest tweets in the history of mankind. There was one point where he was close to losing his job at Buzzfeed, but they I don't know, kept him on board for whatever reason. So he's still out there lurking in the Twitterverse, waiting to just pounce on unsuspecting celebrities. And he did just that. Now this idiot published a tweet the other day saying, following on the news that PewDiePie endorsed an anti-Semitic YouTuber, here's a screenshot from a recent video in which PewDiePie played a shooting game with and laughed at a fan named Rabbi Shekel, whose avatar is the famous anti-Jew Le Happy Merchant. So you look at that straight away and you say, oh my God, that's horrible. You talk about the Verge thing a couple of days ago, now you've got this. Clearly there's some smoke to this fire that PewDiePie is anti-Semitic. Turns out our friend Joe Berenstein Bear was not telling the full story. I know you've probably heard that before about the media not telling the whole story, but let me show you this evidence. YouTuber Justin Wong replied to this tweet with his own tweet saying, Joe is being deceptive. Here's the actual context. PewDiePie laughs because the guy runs up and shoots a player that is in the middle of telling PewDiePie how much he means to him, cutting off the nice speech. So, turns out Joe Berenstein either didn't research the story properly or didn't care enough, didn't watch the proper video, didn't research it properly, he just wants to get brownie points on the internet, he wants to just piggyback on the fact that people are calling out PewDiePie for doing this, this and that, 
and he just, in the end, made a total goose of himself. Like I said before, this guy has said some real stupid stuff in the past, so instantly whenever he comes out and says stuff like this, people are going to come for him, which is good because he is an idiot, he doesn't research what he's talking about, and he's got a platform that can actually influence people who, like him, don't actually go through to search out the proper facts. So, again, I'm not a PewDiePie fanboy, I'm not going to defend everything PewDiePie does, but in these two instances, he has been unfairly picked on, the media has it in for him, they just don't see him as a proper role model, which I kind of agree with. Just the fact that they feel the need to go after him again and again and again and again, whether he's done stuff or not, is really ludicrous, it's absolutely crazy. When he says stuff and does stuff that deserves and warrants criticism, yes, go for the horns, honey. But if nothing has happened, don't bother. You're just gonna make yourself look stupid, and then when people actually report on actual stuff happening, they're gonna say, well, is this true or false? I saw Joe Idiot friggin' talking about him last week, and he just had no basis to talk about stuff. <laughs> So I don't know what to believe anymore. Now while we're talking about PewDiePie, we're going to talk about Lily Singh very quickly. Now Lily Singh outraged the Twitter community last week by posting her reply to the Forbes article that detailed the top 10 highest paid YouTubers of 2018. And of course there was no female creators featured on there at all. Um, I guess maybe besides the mother of the kid that finished number one, I guess she's kind of my proxy on the list. And she basically said, you know what, I called this last year, I knew this was going to happen, I knew that the list next year was just going to be dominated by men. Now, she was universally shat on by the YouTube community, saying, well, it's not really a, a matter of uh, gender, it's a matter of uh, content. You're not making the same money as those people, not because you're a woman, it's because your content is just not good. And she's been criticised in the past for not evolving with the times, for continuing to make the same content she's made year after year after year after year, which is true. Now, she has been criticized in the past for using stuff like mental health and gender and other very important topics, using them as a scapegoat for getting her out of trouble and also blaming those things for her shortcomings. And she's been rightly called out for all that. And she was called out again by PewDiePie. And in PewDiePie, one of his latest videos, in response to Lily Singh's comments, he had the following to say. AdSense pays the same way. If people want to subscribe to you, they generally do because they enjoy your videos and not because of your gender. That's just ridiculous. But if you start complaining about this, you literally sound like a crybaby and an idiot, which you are Lily Singh. <gasps> Boom! Okay! Now, I don't know if that's a bit too much, but... Yeah, there you go, he said it. But I think there's a little bit of truth to what he's saying. Um, there is a lot of female content creators that I enjoy and I watch, and I enjoy their content and I watch, not because they're a female, but because I enjoy their content. Same with males. YouTube is about watching people you enjoy. If you enjoy my videos, which I don't know why you would, but if you do, you would watch them. Even if I had a wig, uh, if I had a big nose, I had purple skin, you'd still probably watch it, okay? So I don't think that has to do with much. But I do, at the end of the day, think that she is like, oh, oh no, I'm starting to lose popularity, I'm losing money, I've got to do something, blah, 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 blah. And it didn't really, it didn't really end well for her. So I think she's taking another extended break. The last time she took a break for mental health, uh, reasons, uh, she continued to film videos. If you're just gonna continue to whinge and complain about what's not happening and your shortcomings and you're not actually adapting to change with the times, well, you're gonna get left behind, bro. Sorry, bro, that's just how it is. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I think that's all I've got time for. I hope you did enjoy me brushing over a couple of topics here and there, a bit of everywhere. Uh, do you guys like this format? Yes or no? Maybe drop a comment down below. Tell me, do you like me talking about one or two things in a video? Or would you just prefer to me just talk about one thing? It's up to you. I make videos for you guys, not for me. So by all means, drop a comment down below. Let me know what you think. If you new to the channel and you stumbled across this vid and for some reason you made it through the end, God speed to you. Make sure you hit that sub button, ding 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 ring the bell, stay notified. I'm going to continue to make videos all throughout the year, all into 2019. You can't stop me, even if you try. And that's it, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye!